Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and I will be speaking about one interesting and prominent figure that I've discovered from Chapter 11, American Psychology and Functionalism of this book. I will be describing the personal background, explain why I chose this figure, elaborate major contributions in psychology and how relevant those contributions in today's society. Mary Whitten Calkins was an American psychologist and philosopher widely known for her theory and research of self, memory and dreams. She was the eldest daughter of Walker and Charlotte Whitten Calkins and was born on the 30th March 1863 in Hartford, Connecticut. After high school, she enrolled in Smith College in 1882 and graduated with a bachelor's degree in Classics and Philosophy in 1885. Although she never received an official degree award by the Harvard, Calkins was granted an unsanctioned doctoral examination in 1895 and passed all PhD requirements with distinction in 1896. Calkins never married and was 66 years old when she passed away by inoperable cancer on 26 February 1930. As I was reading through chapter 11, the first thing which caught my interest in Calkins was, in 1905, she became the first female to be elected as the president of the American Psychological Association. She was brave and dedicated to pursue knowledge and further her education, even though during her time, women were deemed as unequal by the society. She persevered through discrimination and sexism that she faced. Calkins also worked alongside notable psychologists, including William James, Hugo Munstenberg, and Edmund Sanford. Calkins' major contributions to psychology are developing cell psychology and paired associate technique (PA). However, I will only elaborate on the PA technique, which is a learning method involving two items paired. For example, a stimulus and a response. Words such as house, stimulus, and television. The response may be paired, and when the learner is prompted with the stimulus house, he would respond with the appropriate word, television. Calkins' PA technique is still widely used in today's society as people engage in this learning method daily. For example, a person will need to pair the word itself with the concept it represents when learning a new word. This technique also enables researchers to study the relationship between stimuli and responses. For instance, findings from recent studies suggest that associative learning may predict reading skills independently from other linguistic processes, especially in children with specific reading disabilities. Some researchers also stated that the process of these two pairs are as follows. One is acquiring items that have not yet been learned well enough to be retrieved. The other is consolidating items that have already been acquired. Calkin's life journey has truly been an inspiration for me personally as she taught me to disregard criticism from society and keep pursuing my passion whether in education or career-wise. To this day, her theories on self, memory, and dreams are practiced by people and researchers, especially in the field of psychology. That is all from me. Thank you.